I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I have been doing a series of videos on fear, and I want to go a little bit deeper into phobias. There's acrophobia, there is venerophobia, and all that, claustrophobia. There was a challenge I had. It's called thanatophobia, T H A N. Thanatophobia, T-H-A-N-A-T-O-P-H-O-B-I-A, thanatophobia. Thanatophobia is the fear of death. The fear of death, your personal death. It's different from necrophobia, which is the fear of things that are related to death. I grew up with a very fertile mind, a very imaginative mind. And one thing that <laughs> troubled my mind was when it was raining, I would be wondering if somebody was dead and he wakes up in the grave and the water is seeping into the grave. Very stupid thoughts. And you know, there are people who have stupid thoughts, stupid fears. And so I had this fear of death. And then I started practicing medicine, so um, I worked in the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, Teaching Hospital in 1984-85. And the world I was in, people, people were just dying, dying, dying. It got to a point that the disease patterns that I was seeing in my patients started affecting me. I started seeing imaginary signs of those diseases. And then the fear of death became more amplified. And it was so intense that I started imagining several things going wrong with me. A lot of these people come in for prayer lines and all that. They have phobias psychological issues that they might not be able to share with people. It got to a point one day, they came to carry me to the hospital. The ambulance came to carry me to the hospital to see patients and I collapsed. I collapsed. The ambulance had to carry me to hospital. Then I resigned. I resigned and left that depressive environment that environment that reminded me of what I was afraid of and went to the Worry Central Hospital. Number two, or specialist hospital there. Number two, I became surrounded by lively people and I was in an environment that stimulated my life. From there, I went to Abba and I got born again. When I got born again, the guarantee of eternal life, the guarantee of a life beyond this place, the guarantee of security and safety in our Lord Jesus Christ, removed that fear of death from my mind. So if you have that kind of fear, it can paralyze you. It can distort you. You can spend a lot of money treating things that are not real. They are not real. And so, I want this video to encourage you to give your life to the Lord Jesus. Have faith in him. See your life beyond this place. And the Bible says that if it is only in this world we believe God for, we are men most miserable. I am very conscious of death. I live as if tomorrow is not guaranteed. I plan as if I'm going to live forever. And that has formed my life. And the security and the peace of mind that one has in the Lord Jesus is indescribable. And because of that, I was able to take a lot of giant steps that people were afraid of taking and it contributed to what you are seeing behind me and what you are seeing this way 
and so many other things we will show you with time. If you look this way, look behind me, you'll see a building with a green roof. It's a story building with six flats. It used to be a hostel. You will not die. You will live to glorify the name of the Lord. Look for scriptures, believe them, pray in the spirit, and relate with people who can reinforce positive belief system in you. God bless you. I hope this video has blessed you. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoke. If it has blessed you, subscribe to this channel so that you can be getting new info every day. At least you have heard of thanatophobia. And join my WhatsApp mentorship group. There you can ask me personal questions. You can call me. This phone is like a police station. It doesn't close. People keep calling and calling and calling from different parts of the world and they are joining the mentorship group in droves. Send a message to plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three. God bless you.